Hello coders, this is Jared from Renaissance Coders and today we are going to learn how to create a custom block template for Concrete 5. Creating custom block templates for Concrete 5 is useful for changing around the design of a particular block, editing the output HTML for a particular block, adding some functionality to the block, and protecting your code from future updates. Concrete 5 blocks are built using several files and file types. In order to create a new custom block template, however, we really only have to create three new files. These files include a view.php file, a view.css file, and a view.js file. The view.php file is rendered every time that the block appears on a page. The view.css file adds style to the generated HTML in the view.php, and the view.js file adds some jQuery to the block, so essentially extending the functionality of the HTML within the view.php file. The placement of these files is vital in order to keep the edits from being overwritten in the future when an update is downloaded. The file placement will depend on your current version of Concrete 5. If you are using Concrete 5.7 and upwards, then a new application directory has been added to the root directory of your site. Previous versions of Concrete 5 did not have this application directory. So we'll go into using the latest version and then come back and cover the older versions in the future. Inside of this applications directory, you will find a blocks directory. The blocks directory is the location that we need to use to add a custom block template. For the purposes of this tutorial, we are going to add a new custom template for the AutoNav block. The first thing that we need to do is set up our directory structure to hold our new block template. To do this, create an AutoNav directory under the blocks directory. Next, create a templates directory. Finally, we need to create a directory that will represent the name of your custom template. We are creating a slide out menu, so I will name my directory slide underscore out underscore menu. This name will be reflected in Concrete 5. Now that you have your directory structure in place, it is time to copy the block's base view.php file. You don't necessarily have to completely copy the block's base view.php file every time, but Concrete 5's base blocks are highly extensible, so it makes sense in this instance. The blocks base view.php file is located in the concrete forward slash blocks forward slash autonav directory. All of the blocks, the base blocks for Concrete 5, are located inside of the concrete directory. To copy the base view.php file, all you have to do is open up the file using whichever editor you prefer. Then simply select all of the content inside of that file and copy it. Then you need to create a view.php file underneath the directory structure that we created earlier. Now that you have copied the blocks base view.php file, you can edit the HTML or PHP inside of your custom template. For this tutorial, we are just going to add some quick PHP that will add a div to the block and print hello world to the screen. To do this, simply write echo, followed by an opening single quote, then your opening div tag. Inside the div tag, we want to write out hello world. Once you've added hello world, make sure that you add the closing div tag, the closing single quote, and finish the statement with a semicolon. Now that we have made the updates, we need to make sure that the custom template is working. To do this, simply go to your website and log in. Once you have logged into your website, click on the edit button located at the top left of the screen. Now that you are in edit mode, click on the AutoNav block and select Design and Custom Template from the menu. Now a small toolbar will show up over the AutoNav block. 
we want to make sure to click on the cog icon and then click on the custom template drop down. Select the custom template that we just created and click on the save button. After clicking on the save button, click on the editing button again. A menu will slide out from the left with a field for version comments. It is important to always add version comments to your pages, just in case you need to revert to an older version of the page. Now we can either click on the publish button, which will make our edits live to the public, or we can click on the save changes button, which means that only the editors of the site can see the changes. For now, we're simply going to click on the Save Changes button because these changes will not be permanent. After clicking on the Save button, the site will exit edit mode and you will see the changes that you have made. You will see a small pop-up stating that the page is pending approval. This just means that your changes have not been made public, but there is a small button on the pop-up that will allow you to publish your changes. This has been a Renaissance Coders tutorial. Thank you for watching.